All reading all the time. Right, uh, Shazar and the Divines by Faustilus Junius, subcurator of ancient theology and paleonumerology, Imperial Library. The position Shazar enjoys in Cyrodiilic worship if often mis is often misconstrued. He and a thousand other deities have sizable cults in the Imperial City. Shazar is especially venerated in the Colovian West, though he is called Shaw there, as the West kings are resolutely and religiously Nordic. The haziness of Shazar's relationship to the Divines, he's often called their missing sibling, begins with Saint Alicia, the so-called slave queen of Cyrodiil, the founder figure of the original Cyrodiilic Empire. In the earliest Syro-Nordic stories of the Heartland, Shazar fought against the Aelids, the Heartland High Elves, on mankind's behalf. Then, for some unknown reason, he vanishes from the stage, presumably to help other humans elsewhere, and, without his leadership, the aliens conquer the humans and enslave them. This slavery lasts for generations. The isolated humans eventually begin to venerate the pantheon of their masters, or at least assimilate so much of high elven, high elven religious practices into their native traditions that the two become almost indistinguishable. In First Era 242, under the leadership of Alicia, her demigod lover, Morehouse Breath of Kine, and the infamous Pelinal White... Infamous? Pelinal White Strike, the Cyrodiilic Humans result, re Revolt. The Cyrodiilic Humans Revolt. When Skyrim leads, lends its armies to the Slave Queen of the South, the revolution succeeds. The alien hegemonies are quickly overthrown. Shortly thereafter, the White Gold Tower is captured by Alicia's forces, and she promptly declares herself the first Empress of Cyrodiil. Part of the package meant that she had to become the High Priestess of Akatosh as well. Akatosh was an old Miri god, and Alicia's subjects were as yet unwilling to renounce their worship of the Elven Pantheon. She found herself in a very sensitive political situation. She needed to keep the Nords as her allies, but they were, at that time, fiercely opposed to any adoration of Elven deities. On the other hand, she could not force her subjects to revert back to the Nordic Pantheon, for fear of another revolution. Therefore, concessions were made, and Empress Alicia instituted a new religion, the Eight Divines, an elegant, well-researched synthesis of both pantheons, Nordic and Aldmeri. The Empire is definitely Roman. Shazar, as a result, had to change. He could no longer be the bloodthirsty anti aldmer warlord of old. He could not disappear altogether either, or the Nords would have withdrawn their support of her rule. In the end, he had become the spirit behind all human undertaking. Even though this was merely a thinly disguised, watered-down version of Shaw, it was good enough for the Nords. As for why Tiber Septim has not attempted to revitalize Shazar during his wars against the Old Miri Dominion, we can only speculate that, at this time, memories of the Elysian Order's follies, the Dragon Break, the War of Righteousness, the defeat at Gelnubrian Fall, Moors, would only damage his campaign for the Imperial Crown. Oh dear. Okay. I learned nothing from that one. Well, actually, it's it's the old kind of... Yeah. They synthesized the religion. Hello. Oh. Was that door locked? But I... I... Ah, uh, okay. I'm highly confused. Right, there's a ghost in here. Let's uh, at least ignore that, shall we? Hmm. Don't have time for this. Or at least I don't think they do. Okay, I definitely need uh, the ammunition of sight now. Everything is dark. What time is it? It's now 11. Hmm. I thought you'd run up sooner than later. Run up what? What? Salathan? 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 Oh dear, I've lost my companion. Oh no. Right. I am at your command, Sir Knight. Then follow me. Of course. Ugh. Right. Right. Following me. Good. 
thought there would have been more bodies. Hmm. Right. Your torch is still not good enough. Right. We want to. Where do we want to go? It's the Lonely Suitor Lodge, wasn't it? Try and meet this uh, user. -er. I'm sorry, but I'm really not one for engaging in conversation. Please leave me. Okay. You seem to be very interested in that statue for some reason. Like, no, not not just kind of staring at it from a distance, but like up close and fighters guild. The uh, fair deal. This is Bravel, I mean, that's going to be a fair deal. Silver home on the water. <gasps> it's a pig! So we could hear more about the uh, the the uh, ghost, but I don't want to. I want to find the lonely suitor lodge, which is uh, somewhere, obviously. Yes, <laughs> it must be somewhere. Well done, Dragonstone. Oh, right. Could probably do with selling some stuff though. If I knew what time it was. Um, let's go. Let's go back. And let's go into the Mage's Guild. We'll have a rest. Sell off some stuff. What can I do for you? I'm Guardian. There are two ruined forts south of Bravil. One is close to the road to Leowin. The other is out on a point of land that projects into Nibbon Bay. Right. Rumors. Hey, you're the one they call the hero of Kvatch, aren't you? Yes. The one that closed the Oblivion Gate and saved the city? Yes. That's true. Be seen. Adeline. Good day. Hello! I don't know why I'm talking. Be seen. Greetings, Guildmate. <laughs> that hood doesn't go with your costume. Pleasure to speak with you. Can I have a look at my wares? Uh, I'm sure there's something to suit you. No, I want um You too. Uh, I wanna can I sell something to you? To speak. You're you're scarily huge. You too. Like, like you're just you're quite tall. It's you. Hi. Stop picking on my guy. Oh of course. Uh, Yes. Greetings, apprentice. Hello. Right. So, <sighs> I'm find a way to. S Hello. I can't sell things because. So, is there a way I can like drop something? No, I don't want to put it in the barrel. Then again, I don't just travel mages guild in any way, shape, or form. So, are there any items I can? Use up or get rid of or drop. Boar meat. If I turn that into a restore health potion, that'd probably be quite good actually. Hmm. Could be a bit smaller. There we go. Not done a huge amount. I think this is going to be a lot less. Hmm. No. Is there anything I don't need? Why do I even still have the Kavach Curus if I'm using this? That's extra health. Ah, but that is the extra strength. That'd probably be. Why do I still have. Why haven't I put these down places? Ugh. I'm never going to use that. I may as well sell it. Greetings. I mean, yeah. But, uh, Hi there. I think we're going to bed down here for the night. And then wake up on the morrow. Have a bit of go around to sell things. Oh, yes. Uh, Iteranus is. That'd be iteration. 
so I'll, I'm rest. I'm sure there'll be a bed somewhere. So we'll rest for eight hours. I'm over encumbered. So we're going to sell things. Get out of the way. Greetings, Greetings, what are you wearing? I'm scared. Get of all you guys. Greetings, Everyone's wearing black and. Hello, what are you? Karandil, mage trained, scholar by inclination. Student of the Aliens. Why are you wearing this chainmail dealie? Obviously, I'm sitting here. Obviously, I'm I'm sitting here. Obviously, with my chainmail curious, I'm, I'm setting trends for the. Uh, for the. Um, arm. You can pick up the arm? It's a public note. How can you steal it? Confused. A warlock's look. Now I need to find somewhere I can sell my uh, Kvatch Curious. Actually, I may as well see if I can I can do some repairs on what I've got. Okay, a little bit. Oh, I've got this wolf pelt. I should definitely try and sell that. I've got. A, I'm weighed down quite quite a bit. I should try and get rid of it. A pleasure to speak with you. Right, sell you things. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Yeah, you've not got a huge amount, maybe. Sell off some stuff. Hmm. Oh, I sell the curious. Why do I still have these robes? Why do I still have them? I'm never going to use them. Is the problem. I'll sell the robe of defense, though. I'll keep the ro robe of the apprentice. As it's a mark of... Thank you for your business. My um, rank in the mage guild. Can I give you? I can't give you equipment, can I? I am at your command, sir knight. Because I could give you magical things. No. Okay. Of course. <sighs> right. So we're gonna do this. We found a quest. We should do this quest, shouldn't we? We'll do this first. While we're here, just in case he's in trouble. You're just a random. You reach up, kiss the lucky old lady on the cheek, and wish you'll get, hope you'll get your wish. What happened? What did I do? What if I look? Huh. Right, so we want to find the Lonely Suitor Lodge. Now, I can't see it around here. So I'm going to assume it's over this side. And the canal water is green. Of course it is. Right. The Lonely Suitor Lodge. Right, it is on this side. Wonderful. How are you? Greetings. Why are you a Templar? Jean-Pierre Le Monde. What do you want? Rumors? I think all Bogram Gros Galash cares about is the Lonely Suitor Lodge. He really puts everything into it. Wasn't Bogram, was it? It began with a K, didn't it, the first time after? What do you want? I don't know. I really don't know. Good day. Hi. Hi. I'm Brogrom Grogalash, your host at the Lonely Suitor Lodge. It may not look like much outside, but that's just the weathered Braville look. Yeah, your jaw doesn't line up properly. I can't ask you about him. Be seeing you. Hmm, who are we looking for? Oh dear. Uh, Curden Grow Dragal. How are you? Fantastic. All Thanks right, then. I'm listening. Good Good greetings to you. Good day. Good morning. May the nine guide you. Can I talk to you? What can I do for you? Uh, Breville. Excuse me. I stay to myself. I've always found the wrong sort of friends. Now I do without. Oh, you a thiefy person. Hail. Hello. It can't. See you. What can I do? Rumors. My cousin in Skingrad 
said that a pair of brothers stopped there looking for the Priory of the Nine. They wanted to be knights. Can you believe it? Be seeing you. Just looking down at the curious, looking at looking at Salath in there. I think hey. can. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, Alar and Lock. None of your damn business. I tell you if I liked you, and I don't. <sighs> Alar and Lock. Yeah. No one tangled. Yeah, what? Should I? Yes. We'll try and talk him three. I think it probably makes more sense. Right. You really hate, hate, hate. All right, that one. Not now, not later, not ever. Really like that. Yeah. That's just sure. Ah, uh, bad. Adventures. How I envy you. That one. Oh please. That one. Don't waste your flat. That one. Yeah. Such adventures. I'm not How good I at this. Hit that one. That one. My life is that one. That one. Sure, that's cute. Okay. Oh, I don't want any of these. That. <laughs> that. <laughs> don't wait. Such Ooh, my speech How craft is increased. Persuasion, weedling, cajoling, and coercing are all tools of speech craft. They are tools you seek to excel in. You are now an apprentice of speech craft. When persuading a character, you now get one chance to rotate the response wedges without having to select an action. How very useful. If only I could use it now. Right, done. Are you sure? Alarendok. Maybe I know him, maybe I don't. But since you're so interested, I know something that could jar my memory. Do I have to pay him money? What's that? I just learned that a family heirloom, the Axe of Dragol, which one of my stupid relatives lost, is located on Fort Grief Island in Nibbin Bay. My informant tell me it's hidden in the main keep at the center. Don't know what's guarding it, but I'm sure you can handle it. If you go there and bring it back to me, I'll tell you exactly where Alaron is. And if I don't return it? Then Alaron may not be coming home from his, uh, journey for a very long time. Like, permanently. Hmm. Whenever you're ready, and it better be soon, I'll have a boat waiting for you to get to Fort Grief Island. Well, I suppose we gotta go over there, aren't we? Axe of Drogal. Yeah. It's a battle axe with the word Dragal carved into the half. <laughs> Huge. You can't miss it. Right. I ain't gonna draw you a picture. Right. Big axe. Okay, other end look. Times. Once a life in. We're going to find other end look. Hmm. Where am I going? Okay, I'm gonna make this my main one because he's gonna tell us where the boat was. Is. Hello, doggy. Oh, do I have to go in and talk to him and tell him about it? I do. 